water on my hands. Hmm? Wow! Yeah. 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 Look, Mommy! from private craft workshops to branded maker events and team building sessions like the one that we are having for today. So please welcome everybody, the owner of Craft Manila, Miss Marielle Reyes, together with her very adorable daughter. Everybody, let's make way and a virtual cheer for Stella and Mommy Marielle. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm, I'm Teacher Marielle for this afternoon, and this is, what's your name? Stella. Stella, and she's been so excited to paint. Thank you for having us. We hope you're all excited to paint as well. Oh, wow. Look at Stella. I think Stella is just so excited. Are you excited, Stella? Are you ready to do <laughs> <laughs> And when you look at her, I think I am digging that dress that you are wearing. <laughs> There's a little sleep there. We go. There we go. Cool. What character are you wearing, Stella? This, Papa. My melody, that is right, Stella. Is my melody character from Hello Kitty? Oh, favorite now. <laughs> yeah? Great. Okay, is there anyone else from the Hello Kitty and Friends? Well, you like what you're doing? What do you fancy at all? Oh, she said she likes Mimi and Hello Kitty as well. Of course, right? I also adore Hello Kitty. Well, um, Mimi, she's also cute. But I also <laughs> like my melody. <laughs> That's right. Well, everyone is so cute. And if you have, if you are, if you happen to be right. All right. Well, everyone is looking so cute. And not to mention all the characters from Hello Kitty have very distinct, fun personalities as well. There's, you know, Hello Kitty, My Melody, Carol, Carol, Carol P, and Bad Bat Maru. Now, in this first craft activity, we will show you the basics of mixing colors and some tips on applying paint to canvas using acrylic paint. So let's paint those adorable Hello Kitty and friends. Hot bags. All right, so can have everybody put out their Hello Kitty tote bag as I would now turn on the spotlight onto Teacher Marielle and Stella. Yellow and blue, you can mix almost any color out there, okay? So Stella, what color do you want to mix first? Um, uh, um, uh, red and blue. Red and blue. What do you think that's going to make? Oh, you think? Okay. So here's a tip when um, mixing the paint. 
Okay, you can actually, so when you open it, it comes in a container like this. You can use a plastic spoon to apply it on. But you can also, I'm just going to pour a little here. There. Just a bit there. Okay. And then I'll cap that right here because anything can happen. And when you're mixing two colors, it would be good if, say, for example, um, I won't pour all of the, I, mean, I won't pour red right away. What I'm going to do is take some red and apply it to the blue. Because just a little goes a long way. Okay. Purple. So we've got purple right here. And the reason why we put a bit of white is so that in case there's some of you who like pastel colors, we can make these mixed colors a little lighter. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll tie it later. Thank you, Baba. So to mix just a little white, let's make a pastel purple. Get some of your white. You do have pockets on your apron. I think pockets are super useful. Okay, it's got quite a bit of white right there. Okay, there and you mix. There you go. Actually, just a little goes a long way, especially when you're trying to make lighter colors. So now we have a deeper violet and a lighter a lighter violet or a lighter purple also right so what other colors make uh can do you know how to mix stella what colors uh, have we mixed before how do you make green yellow and blue that's correct so i'm sure you guys are all set and starting to mix your own colors there. So once when you're painting with acrylic paint, I can begin. I can begin. As I mentioned, you can okay, yeah. You can dilute with water. And actually there are a couple of ways of applying it onto canvas. Can I show them first, Stella? Okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm a bit of water on my hand. We'll just demonstrate some blending, okay? So this is a bit diluted already. So I'm going to. You can always put more water to help it spread, all right? So we put that there. And there are a couple of ways. You hold this one. Okay, I know you're super excited. Can I? Wait, lang. Yeah. So really a nice food. Purple. The water became so purple too. Uh -oh. It's so cute, It's so cute. Okay. Okay. It's good to have paper towels on that. Okay. So here, I'll get. I'll put some water in, and you can actually apply, blend it into the acrylic paint, so it'll look a little like a wash. If any of you, um, any of you dabble in watercolor, so it looks like a lighter shade of purple that, right? And other than that, you can also try applying white. Okay. Sure, babe. So it's now um, free for everyone to actually try to color their uh, canvas tote bag, right? But all, all the tips that 
teacher Marielle and Stella have been giving us. So, you know what? You, you, you definitely have to make it good in all these art, artworks because at the end of our event, we shall be choosing the top three coolest creations and those three will get special prizes from H&M, okay? You might be wondering what those will be. That will be 1,000 pesos worth of H&M Zalora vouchers. Wow! So you really got to make it nice. So I'm actually starting with the other side. <laughs> I'm doing a yellow shirt for Hello Kitty. As you can see, there. There you have it. So the winners will be chosen by our very own craft masters for this event, no less than Teacher Marielle and Stella. So everybody, do not forget, paint to impress moms and kids. All right, so I hope you guys have started painting already and are having fun mixing the colors. So Stella is basically just having a go. Um, for those of you who are working with very young kids, it's, it's actually um, a good free form activity. I know we have some printed uh, printed images to guide us, but then you know what? If you like, if you'd like to draw on other items or images, we also have some design inspiration. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> you can make something completely your own and we'd love to see that, right? No, that in all of those things, Mommy and Marielle. And I can see some artwork. This is a really awesome um, mother and daughter duo right here. Marie, is Marie the name of, the, of your daughter or the name of Mommy? <laughs> All right, that is an awesome thing you're doing right there, right? It's a, it's a joint effort of the, this free brain productivity as well. Not to mention, of course, it enhances your bonding time with your kids, just like everybody's doing now. Mommy Joan and Ellis. Oh wow! Well, you look at that. They're still the process of mixing and finding the right color to put onto that canvas so bad. And we also have Mommy, Bev, and Chacha, and Cheche. I love those names. <laughs> okay, so Mommy, Bev is over right there. Hello! Wow, what a fun way, right, to spend our afternoon with our kids, you know. The nice thing about this is if you keep on spending time like this with your, your, with your kids, this will be their core memory because they can't go out of this yet. We also have Jesso and Summerlin. Oh, wow. Well, you look at that. Hello. And Summerlin is digging on some summer colors on her artwork. Read some baby one. Rose Aya is also doing her tricks. And by now she has already mixed the colors of red and blue to come up with. Green. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the cool shade of green. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I can see it's a real group effort there. Isn't it nice, right? Okay, we have Ruby as well. Get her this first time. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Right, teacher Marielle? 
Right. So, you know, painting as an activity is preparation right. for a good many things, and that sounds just about right. And then you're seeing Right. But what I, one of the things that I really love about this is how they get the exercise their day, and the end. Mm -hmm. um, for me, Estella's just three. So, uh, if you can see on, on overhead cam, I'm just letting her do whatever she wants to do. So, I think, well, I, I, I guess different, different folks might have different ways of teaching their kids yeah, how to draw or how to do art. But for us, it's just yeah. really mostly free form for at least seven age. And um, later on, well, if you want to try something else, else or if, uh, it's basically yeah. modeling some techniques, and if she wants to try them out for herself, she can. But it's really just encouraging the creative That's right. It's a good jump, jump off point, right, for, for whatever, whatever it is that you want to teach your kids, like excellence, patience, and a lot of things. But for, for kids with the age of Stella, I think that's also a good um, good way to develop my motor skills, right? And my hand and eye coordination as well. Absolutely. That's for young kids. But I see there are some moms with older kids, and that's a perfect opportunity for you both to explore different painting techniques together. <laughs> so I have mommy Joanne and Ellen. Oh wow. Oh, I my good brother. Bye. 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 Is there any other tips, painting tips that you'd like? Well, yes, I love uh, blending. Yes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Thank you, Daddy. It's a family in there for us here, too. 
Nice. <laughs> I do love Hello Kitty. For for mommies like my age, um, this brings a lot of nostalgia, right, mommy? <laughs> we love Hello Kitty. We have grown. We have been this character. Done and 
rotate and go back. So we can get a good gauge of how we can judge those No talent. It looks like this is going to be top. I know. <laughs>